summer is almost here, and parents around the country are probably getting ready to send their kids to camp. Those lucky kids, right? Yes, indeed. And my guest today um, is um, an expert on camping. And he has written a book, um, and his name is Chris Thurber, author of the Summer Camp Handbook, and the author of a DVD CD set called The Secret. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome. Thank you. It's and a pleasure to be so here. So how many kids actually go to camp in America? Twelve million every summer in this Boy. country. Man. And how many camps are there? Um, best guess is about 7,000 camps. Yeah. Which state has the yeah. most camps? Probably New York State. Really? Yeah. What about Maine? Yeah. It seems like... Maine has a lot. Camps got started in the Northeast, so... Yeah. And the first camp popular. ever was, was... First camp ever in 1861, the Gunnery Camp in oh, Connecticut. Oh, the Gunnery School? <laughs> yes, indeed. Ah. So now it's a little bit more complex because there's so many things that you want to take to camp and you're going to miss if you can't take it. That's like, right. and, uh, and the lists come from the camp. Kids feel a little bit, uh, do they try to sneak things into camp? Sometimes, sometimes. You know, camp is the best way to spend the summer. And what a lot of parents don't know is that... 95% of boys and girls who are away from home feel homesick, and it's a normal feeling. Yeah. Sometimes it gets in the way of enjoying the camp experience, so my research has been focused on homesickness prevention and all the things that parents can do now to prevent homesickness so their kids get the most well, out of Well, I remember that I always sent a letter like a week before right. my daughter went to camp so she wouldn't feel homesick. She'd have a letter like the second day. Well, that's fantastic. Parents can actually yeah. write a letter and bring it with them to hand deliver to the cabin oh. leader so kids can get mail on the very first day. Oh, that's so, cheating. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what else? What else can you do to well, prevent Well, you know, we've got a lot here. One of the things that I wanted to point out was how important it is to label everything. Um, you see that all of the wonderful things here are labeled from the toothbrush. You want to label, you know, oh, yeah. socks, asthma inhalers, everything should so have that's a cute toothbrush right. with a nice little case so they're gonna lose this the first day well you know right? it's easy to lose things at camp but if you want it back it's got to have your name on it yeah so uh, key touches uh, key printed touch, labels markers uh, iron, iron on labels yeah, iron absolutely that's good that'll yeah. last the summer uh, how do you mark the sneakers well you know what I turn down the tongue like this and then you can use the permanent marker just to put your initials oh, on good. it you could do like that okay and one of the things you asked about is homesickness prevention the things that I want to tell you about that parents can do now Spend practice time away from home. Arrange that for your child so they spend the weekend at grandparents or right. a couple of overnights with a friend. Also, get a calendar and show them the number of days between now and opening day at camp so they have a concrete sense of the time and how many weeks right. they'll be at camp. You mentioned the letter on the first day or the second day is fantastic. And I also think it's important that parents express confidence and optimism. It's normal to feel homesick, as I said, but some kids will ask their parents what and it's a temptation to say, if you feel homesick, I'll come and get you. Instead, parents no. should say, you'll have a great <laughs> time at camp. Of course, there'll be some things you miss about home, but camp is going to be phenomenal. So this is a nice little trunk. And uh, do they give you now um, specific sizes of trunks that you can bring? You're not going to bring one of those old Louis Vuitton giant well, steamer no. trunks, Well, no. As you can see, you know, camps are available in a range of sizes. And, uh, excuse me, trunks are available in a range of colors and sizes. You want something really sturdy, not the budget trunk that you might get at a big box department store, but something you can stand on because that's what kids will do at yeah. camp and they don't want to fall through it. We've done a couple of things here. You see we've taped the packing list to the inside cover that's of good. the trunk. Right. So on closing day, you can see what you brought with you and make sure it all comes How home. How many things actually come home out of the total? Well, that depends <laughs> on whether you use some of these strategies. You know, I think you should pack uh, a couple of extra of the basic things, socks, underwear, and t-shirts, because some of them will get lost. They're going to get dirty. And you've rolled everything. Yes, yes. This is a technique that allows you to see what you've brought. If you fold it and stack it, oh, you can't so, see what's underneath. So all this can just be rolled That's right. And that's right. We can take some of these t-shirts or rolled up, but take your normally folded uh, t-shirt or whatever it is, roll it up like this, and then stack it like pencils oh, in a can so, can so see you can what see have. what you've brought. Okay. And then there are some things. You see we've got some socks here. They're stretchy. They're fuzzy. They're a little bit hard to get the P-touch or an iron on label on but you can put your own little symbol I put some M's there for you oh, thank you and uh, but you can do a triangle you can do whatever you want and that way on laundry oh, day okay. when it's all dumped in the middle of the cabin you can easily find what belongs to you so those go in yeah and sneakers yeah. and so follow the directions of the camp though absolutely and what about toiletries well you know there is one thing that I want to tell you that's not going to be on a camps list because it's a brand new product um, and it's made by bougie there's a bougie block and a bougie wash the block is a combination SPF uh, 20 sunscreen and poison oh, ivy poison oh, oak really? barrier so put it on go play capture the flag in the woods don't worry about it and the that's wash good. is a post-exposure uh, cleanser so we have, one of, irritating we have one of each of these for everyone in the audience yeah. so you can try the bougie yeah. and 
We're also giving you the DVD so yes. that all of you can uh, learn from the DVD. This That's is the very complete nice homesickness prevention package. There's even a CD in there that parents can listen to in the car on the way home. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. And, and I also wanted to mention here oh, the yeah. stationery. So a lot of camps are set up to receive one-way emails from parents, but if you want correspondence back from your kids, you've got to pack yeah. pre-stamped, pre-addressed envelopes, uh, put the stationery in something that is going to protect it from the humidity, like this Water clear really envelope frank. like this. And I also wanted to show you these envelopes are not the kind that you have to lick because, again, those get attacked by the humidity, but just peel and stick like this, pre gum right. ready to go, pre-stamped, pre-addressed. Grandparents, parents, friends, right. whoever helped pay for the tuition at camp. <laughs> That's what you want to know. Yeah. That's very so good. So that is ready to go. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for thank great you. hints and tips. Happy to be here. Great. Thanks. And when we come back, Chef Rick Bayless joins me in the kitchen to make wonderful enchiladas.